Christ, you asshole. Oh, good Lord. Now, Dan, you know I'm a stand-up guy. Like a real stand-up-to-pee kind of guy. But there's no rules. New rules? Yeah, I assumed you were the one behind it since you come up with crazy rules. I am not! I come up with good rules. Good Christian rules that Jesus' people can really get behind and push. Dan, how has trading partners been a good Christian Rule. Clearly that was just a suggestion, and a damn good one. Everybody knows that humans weren't supposed to just have one partner. It's gotta be somewhere in the Old Testament. It's probably in here. I saw it just the other day. Yeah, the Old Testament does have some weird shit. Yeah, like sodomy. Why didn't anybody tell me about this new rule? Hey man, I didn't know either. If it wasn't for me getting confused and thinking of taking a shit, I wouldn't have seen the sign. There's a sign? Oh, that was definitely Peter. Well, yeah, this is a three bedroom house. If it wasn't you or I, it's gotta be Peter. Peter, what the hell is all this sit down to pee shit? <sighs> yeah, it's a new rule I made. I even made the sign. I put it together in Illustrator. Yeah, uh, I like the sign. It looks like you put a lot of work into it. It's just a stupid fucking rule. A stupid rule? Dan, you know, how about your stupid rule of everybody having to shut the door when they have to take a piss? Okay, first of all, that's not the rule. And second, now you can't even tell when someone's taking a piss or taking a shit. Yeah, it's real confusing for me and my asshole. When I come in and sit down, it thinks we need a shit. What, I'm just here to piss. Oh, boo-hoo, Jeff. I'm sorry your asshole doesn't know what it wants. My asshole is perfectly aware of what it wants. It's just a stupid fucking rule. Yeah, speaking of stupid rules, how about you, Jeff, and your rule that I have to call your mom every single Thursday? Yeah, sure, we have great chemistry, and she is good company. But I shouldn't have to call her every single Thursday, and I'm starting to think that your dad's getting suspicious because I did ask him for your mom's number. Why would you ask my dad for my mom's number? Well, you wouldn't give it to me. Oh my gosh, I thought you were kidding. Why are you calling my mom, creep? Okay, you know, if you didn't want me to call your mom, why would you put it on the calendar? Call mom. It's not the calendar, it's my calendar in my room. Mine, mine, mine. Do you guys hear yourselves? You ungrateful assholes. You know what? Fine. I'll take the sign down. As Peter reached out to pull the sign, you could see on his face that he felt repugnant about the ordeal. You know, I'm feeling very repugnant about this situation. Uh, yeah, you should probably close the door. Peter scares the shit out of me when he gets like that. 